In today's video, I want to talk about communication and particularly talking to each other. Back in August, I talked about why communication matters in this day and age. But I've had occasion in this last week to be reminded that the telephone can be such a great thing. And let me explain a bit further. Here, I've got a journal. Now, I've been doing a journal and filling it in for the last four years. I did something recently that changed my mind a bit about how I did it. And I added a section into it about the things that made me happy that particular day. And what I'd noticed over the last week is that the highlight of my day have been phone calls to different people. I'll use an example. Last week on Wednesday, I spoke to an aunt of mine who's 85. And speaking to her is always a joy because she's really upbeat. She's great at mem remembering stories from way back when. And when I speak to her, I always end up smiling. I come off the phone and it cheers me up. And then later in the week, I was reminded of a phone call that I got out of the blue last Christmas. And it was from someone who I hadn't spoken to for probably six or seven years. And then as soon as I saw his name come up on the phone, I thought to myself, ooh, there's a problem. So I answered the phone tentatively. And he went, all right, James, how are you doing? I just saw your name in my phone and thought I'd give you a ring because I haven't spoken to you for ages. And that led into a conversation that lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. And it was brilliant. It was just something that came back. We told stories about our past. We laughed and we joked about things that we hadn't done in ages. And it was so nice. It was so nice to get that contact. I had another one from another friend, perhaps six months ago, and it was it's basically it was the same thing. And I came to the conclusion then, and I come to the conclusion now, that hearing from people that you haven't heard of from for a while is lovely. Just getting back and talking to people that you haven't spoken to for a while. And it makes me think how in this day and age where we have social media and where we have our mobile, mobile phones that are a computer as well, how we use that for texting people all the time. And I talked about this in the other video that my sons would rather text me than phone me. And yet the joy I get personally when I'm talking to someone on the phone is immeasurable. And in a world where we have more opportunities to keep in contact with everybody. It seems to be very funny that we don't. I don't know whether it's too easy now. I can remember back in the day waiting at a phone box to, for someone to ring me because we didn't have mobile phones then. Most of us didn't have phones and you would wait at a phone box at a certain time to get in contact with that person. But those days seem to have gone. I think that's great that they've gone. But it's funny how we don't talk anymore like we used to. In the 70s, there was an advertising campaign featuring somebody called Busby. And Busby was like this little bird. And in this run of adverts, he was always getting up to little scrapes and things. But the thing about it was, the whole aim of this advertising run, if you like, was to make somebody happy, give them a call. And that's what it was about. And, and it's true that when we look back over the years, how people have communicated once upon a time. Do you remember pen pals? You would have a pen pal with somebody you'd never met before. And we would, you would write letters and weeks later you would get a reply. Well, that's all gone. Nobody writes letters anymore, I don't think. If you do, let me know. Just let me know because it was great. And now we can email anyone. And it's so quick and easy to do. We've got WhatsApp. We've got our different social medias. I use Facebook a lot. And I talk to a lot of people. But for me, it's never quite the same 
as when you actually hear the voice or see the face. And the reason I say see the face is because the day before yesterday, one of my sisters, my younger sister, she phoned me. Well, she didn't. She video called me. And although I do this to you on a regular basis, I never think to use my phone to video call anyone. And it was really, really nice. My sister lives in Scotland. She's about a nine hour drive from me. And so we don't see each other very often. But it was great. We had a chat the other day and seeing her face on the phone was just lovely. It was really nice. Yesterday, I spoke to my elder sister who's just come back from Italy, been to an opera, went to an opera in Italy. Well, that's a place to go, isn't it? And it was lovely just catching up with her. And I don't know about you, but do you remember when there was groups of you as children? I had a close family. And so my first friends, if you like, were my cousins. And my mum and dad and their mum and dads and all that used to come and visit each other all the time. And we'd grown up with these cousins as friends. And it was such a lovely thing. About five or six years ago, we had a Murphy family reunion where we all met in a pub. All my uncles and aunts were there with the exception of my dad, who was the only one that had passed away in his level of family. But so many of my cousins were there and it was just lovely. And it left me with a glow for days. And yet we've not done it again. And we rarely talk to each other on the phone. And so on Sunday, I rang one of my cousins up and we had a chat and we were on the phone for about an hour. And we both went back and we were talking about how when we were young and how we were all close and how we both missed that. And this phone call, it just cheered me up no end. Not that I, was, I wasn't miserable or anything, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is, is that that phone call just cheered me up and it's left me with like i said just now a glow for days but why are we so bad at getting in touch with each other it's just one of those things i suppose and if anything this video is really about getting in touch with people that you haven't spoken to for a while not just acquaintances i'm talking about people that you actually care about because the one thing I've noticed most this week with those phone calls that I've had is how it's left me with a warm glow. I can talk to them. I talked to my cousin who I just on about who were phoned on Facebook and we'll chat on there. But it's never quite the same. There is nothing for me as good as actually talking to somebody. That's probably because I spend 98% of my days in this office on my own and I don't have a lot of people to talk to. But it's heartening when you speak to people that you care about. If this rings a bell with you, if you've had a phone call with somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while and it's cheered you up, or even if you'd heard something that was bad news and it got you thinking again. Could you do us a favor and write about it in the comments? Because I don't think I'm the only person who feels the way that I do about this. I'm sure that there are others. Now, I know it feels like I'm getting nostalgic and woefully sad about the past, but it's not true. That is not the case because my life is great and I look forward to each day as we go. But there is something special, I think, when you get to speak to someone special in your life that life has led you on a course where you don't really get to speak to each other as much as you used to. It's funny that, isn't it? It's got me to thinking that I really need to do it more. I think I need to pick my phone up and start just checking in on people for no other reason than to see how they are. That's not to say that I haven't been in contact with them because like I said, I use social media, I use WhatsApp and all that sort of thing. Um, we'll send each other notes and we'll talk about different things, but it's never quite the same. Well, it's not for me anyway. So that's it for today, really. If you find that this has just struck a chord with you, let me know down below and um, we'll do this again real soon. I'll see you next time.